Yeah. After you look at it. Yeah, I'll have a look at it. But, uh, yeah. I was six, seven years old, and I was in orphanage. Uh, and I grew up in orphanage all my life. And I remember everybody would go to sleep, and I would be crying. Uh, and the head teacher would wake up and come and say, who's crying, who's crying? And she never caught me. Maybe growing up in an orphanage, uh, you never can trust and give yourself and open up. Because you don't know that warmth that, you know, I feel with my children now. So when you are a victim or you are a minority, then you have sympathy for others. Unfortunately, it works that way. It's a blessing and it's a curse. I, I... Suffering brings appreciation. Suffering brings a lot of creativity. Because suffering is it's a way of uh, survival. Through the darkness, you have opportunity to see the light. Amrola Jibreal, I, uh, I was born in Haifa in Israel, 1973. And uh, 1978, at age five, I arrived to Dar Tifl orphanage after my mother killed herself. She was raped and she committed suicide after that. I stayed in the orphanage until I was 19. It's a pain that never leaves you. I mean, you can um, try to ignore it, but it's not the way, it's not the solution. You can't control what is happening to you. You cannot control being an orphan. Those are the cards that you are being dealt. The adversity that I face as a child has nonetheless uh, formed a massive part of, of who I am. Whenever I was getting beaten at home, Whenever I was facing adversity, I would just slip into this other world where everything was great, where everything was ideal, where I was loved. And so you have a choice. Either you can just say, well, I'm damned and I'm worthless, or you can fight. What other way are you going to be able to transcend that which has been given to you. I think we should honor the orphan daily. They're resilient and powerful, and more than that, growing strong in spite of adversity and wanting more for oneself. The programs that we provide at WWO are really focused on building the capacity of the child, of the orphan spirit, and of empowering the child to be on target with their purpose, to do all that is purposeful for them as individuals, and for them to be successful and enduring so that they can have their own families in their own communities. WWO has been in Haiti since January 27, 2010, when I first came after the earthquake. And in a matter, it seems, of minutes, we've exploded into a fully engaged program for orphaned and vulnerable children. <laughs> It's really important that children learn to express themselves through the use of play and creativity. What we try to do at WWO is we try to really integrate all of these aspects of early childhood development 
through the expression of the arts and sport. It is not my talent that got me the life that I have today. There are plenty of people who are talented and don't have this kind of a life. It was my belief system, my refusal to accept the cards that were dealt to me. And when you see me expressing on stage, as singing, I do it because that's my lifeline. If they can somehow find something to believe in, they might someday find themselves living their way into their dreams. How old was your mother when she died? What happened? Um, kidney failure. Kidney failure. Well, what grade are you in? What do you want to do when you finish school? Do you think you will become a nurse? Do you remember a feeling you had about what it's like to have that loss in your life? Are you hopeful? I left the orphanage at the age of 19, 1993 because I won a scholarship from the Italian government. What you do as an orphan, and what I did as an orphan, is I have to de develop all kind of mental and physical skills to, to challenge and actually to change my surrounding. It's hard for any orphan to overcome that alone. We all need help, we need to admit that we need help, and, and it can happen. Your destiny is not the one written by somebody else because you're an orphan, because what happened to you. You can write your own life and your own destiny. I do believe that we can create, we can change our destiny. It's not where you start, it's where you finish. <laughs>